Well, hey there, guys. It's Erica from the Nerd Journals. Thank you for coming to hang out with me for my January 2022 flip through of my third eye sight journal. Can you see that? I don't name my journals, I title them. So this one is third eye sight. She's very chunky, getting very, very chunky. Um, I'm getting close to finished. Here are my blank pages remaining right there. Uh, if you're new to my channel, I do work from the back of my journal as well as the front, which I will get around to showing you right now. So, um, I promised you guys I would show you, oh no, that tore a little bit, oh well. I promised I would show you the evolution of the front page of my journal and the back of my journal. So here is the front. I did finally get around to tracing out the letters there and it looks way better, so I'm glad I took the time. Um, I've got this uh, ripped little magazine cutout I found with the VW bus. Uh, dream to like travel the country in one. It would be amazing, you know. You gotta have money to do stuff like that. Here is my books I've been reading, movies and TV I've been watching, and my to-do list. I'm mostly caught up with this. There's a few more things I want to do, but mostly caught up to where I need to be. And I'm also going to go ahead and skip to the back and show you the evolution of the back of my journal too before I show you my January pages. Um, this is the inside of a birthday card. The front of the card reminded me so much of a friend that I ripped it off for them to use in their journal and I kept the inside, um, which is where the note is from my, my friend anyway. Um, this is where I keep my little stencil I've been using, oops, using lately. I have a postcard from uh, May's Paper Dreams. She was nice enough to trade postcards with me recently. I have this awesome Save the Earth, Save Us sticker. Um, you can't see that, but that's my address right there on some return address labels I got in the mail. Uh, this is a postcard from Erica Berry. On Instagram I will I will link these people I'm talking about below I try to always do that and if I forget you guys need to call me out <sighs> I've got some tickets for a raffle I entered and did not win Just little bits of everything yeah keep labels for stuff and this is a sticker I got for free as well. It says birth control access for all. It was too big for my journal to fit the way I wanted it, so I just kind of sliced off the edges there. Um, this is some artwork by uh, Hoops of Spiders right there. Of course, look below for the link to find them on Instagram, because if you are new to this channel, once again, I do prefer Instagram over uh, any other social media. There's all that. Of course, I have a bunch of personal stuff in here. I'm not going to bother to empty the envelope. Maybe I'll do that when I show you a final flip through, but right now I'm not going to bother. Um, and I lost my place when my little gator tag fell off, but here is where I want to start showing you from. This is the last page I showed you guys last time I did one of these little flip throughs. Uh, looks like the first couple pages I was just doing writing, 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 no decoration. Um, I did write with a fountain pen on both of these pages, so if you were curious to know that. I can't tell you the name of the ink on this page, but this purple is uh, African Violet by Noodlers. Uh, this, this is by Hoops of Spiders as well. Uh, they sent me some stickers and I was so grateful for everything they sent me. That's so cool. Um, I, I love that sticker. It's definitely eye-catching. Uh, this right here is just uh, I don't remember what this is. Is this? This is acrylic paint. I had to double check to see if it was watercolor or acrylic. It's acrylic. Um, of course. Of course you know me. I love The Simpsons, so this little meme. Well, I guess it's not a meme. This little, um, shot from the show was right up my alley that day. 
uh, little, little kitty stickers from one of my sticker books. Uh, this is a drawing of one of my Christmas ornaments. Uh, I went to the eye doctor, that's my eye doctor's business card, and once again, this is just all Noodler's African Violet ink. And I was writing with my Lemmy Safari. This right here, I don't know the name of the ink, but I was writing with my um, uh, limited edition turquoise Twisby Eco. I love that pen so much. I love both of my fountain pens. I actually have more than those two, but I don't use the other ones as often. Uh, this is just kind of a mess of everything. This is like my hospital screening for COVID. Um, this long boy, I don't, I don't know what that's supposed to be, but it came from the uh, antiquarian sticker book. And you know what? Side note, I'm gonna. Talk Whoa! <laughs> Sorry about that. Side note, I'm going to talk to you guys about my antiquarian sticker book real quick while I have it handy and while I'm talking to you about it anyway. Um, I got, a, this is a gift, and apparently I got one of the earlier publications, and legit, the stickers don't stick, and it's very disappointing. Um, I keep using them, and I just glue them down because they're so beautiful, but... Um, yeah, be careful which edition of this book you get because I don't want you to have the early edition where the stickers are not as sticky. Um, I did question the company and that's what they told me was happening. So heads up for that. I'll try not to uh, shake you guys up so much this time as I move around. Uh, just writing, a few stickers, just a little bit of decoration here. These stickers, oh, I love these stickers. I love The Simpsons, oh, I love The Simpsons. Let's just get that straight out there over and over again. You guys gotta know the first 15 Simpsons of the seasons of The Simpsons I'm in love with. Um, these stickers were a gift from Garbage Pony. These are her art and they are amazing and I'm so happy to have them in my journal. So look below, find the link for Garbage Pony and go check her out because she is awesome. Um, you guys probably saw this page on Instagram, and you may have even saw me um, live streaming when I was making it, and this one as well. Wait, maybe even the first one? No, not that one. But yeah, I, I live streamed making these two pages, and I love this one right here. That kitty's just got some attitude, and the color just, it all came together. I was really happy with how this spread turned out. This right here is me being... Um, having an existential crisis, I guess. I don't know what else to call it, but what if no one is listening? And Oh, this is the other page I made while I was live streaming this right here, I believe. Um, these are um, cut out of the bag that Zenny Optical sent me my glasses in recently. Um, I, the bag was so pretty, I couldn't, I couldn't leave that. And, uh, this right here, I'm happy with how this turned out as well. Same soup, just reheated. I swear to God, guys, some of my days, I just feel like I'm living the same day over and over and over again. It's just routine, and I'm trying to get better at doing different things like making videos and working on art and uh, trying to shake my life up a little bit so it's not the same in day in and day out, but it is hard. Um, this right here was, God bless, one of my um, friends came into where I work and I told her about my day and I just started crying and I told her what was going on. If you guys follow my Instagram, you know I'm having trouble with my husband and his mental illness and um, I cried and she hugged me and she went about her business. Like, you know, I work as a cashier. She, she left and she came back shortly after and gave me this gift card and uh, told me to spend it on myself. And I cried and I cried and um, since then, her and I have been talking more, so so she went from kind of a friend to a friend after she showed me this little kindness that um, warmed my heart, and it's nice getting to know her for the first time, even though I've known her forever. Um, you can't really see this because I'm going to have to blur out her name on the back, but this is um, what the gift card came in. It's beautiful. <laughs> She, um, I, she didn't know that was my favorite color, but that is my favorite color, so. <laughs> and it says you're awesome, and it made me so happy. Um, this right here, uh, I'm gonna actually show you guys something else while I have you here. I'm gonna show you where I got this little quote from. I was in... 
I was in a little um, flea market one day and I found this book for a dollar. It's called Everyday Gratitude. And it's just pages of beautiful quotes on beautiful colored backgrounds. And I've had it for a couple years now and I keep tearing pages out and adding them here and there. And it's just, um, this was a great little find. So that's what this is from and it says, there are a hundred of ways to kneel and kiss the ground. That's Rumi, I love that so much. Um, here I was just playing with watercolors a little bit and I've got this little puppy I cut out of a magazine and he is a little hardcore. He's a, my little comrade, he says, uh, the paradise of the rich is made out of the hell of the poor. Um, this right here, these stickers are from, you know, um, Megan's Diary says violet stickers. I always thought it was violet, so I'm gonna roll with violet because that's just what I say day to day. If I'm wrong, someone let me know because I really don't know one way or the other how it's pronounced. So these stickers are by Violet Stickers on Etsy. She has amazing stickers. I have so many of her stickers that I've been bought and been given over the years. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, and this right here is a drawing of one of my customers at the store I work at. Um, let me bring you a little closer to him because he's important. As you could see, he's not wearing a mask. And he says, do you have any COVID tests? Cough, cough. Guys, that is my life at work every single day. <laughs> so I started, uh, I drew one of my customers and now I think that's gonna be something I do from time to time because I enjoy drawing that asshole. Um, this, yeah, this, just writing, <laughs> this is just a happy little page. This has got the same vibe as the cat page I showed you earlier. I've got this happy little llama with beautiful colors. Um, he's saying he's fancy, he's fancy. And then here I wrote hair goals as Alanis Morissette circa 1998. Oh my gosh, guys, she had hair to her hips with the most beautiful waves. Uh, my hair is about as long as hers, but it's just straight. Just straight. And my hair will never look like Lance Morissette's did in 1998. Um, you guys are probably freaked out right now because some of you were probably not even, well, I say a good few of you guys weren't even born yet at that point. And that makes me feel old. But you know, it's better than the alternative. Okay, so those were the last two pages. This one actually rolled over into February right here, but this right here was... Um, the end of January so showed you that as well next time when I show you February I'll start right here again and uh, we'll have fun looking through February together in a month or a couple weeks you know whenever I get around to filling that out so thank you again for hanging out with me I always appreciate your support and your encouragement your comments your likes your subscriptions and if you don't want to miss my next video you better get notifications as well just in case so Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.